is the 2020 Rolls-Royce Cullinan Black Badge. And it is, quite simply, the most luxurious SUV ever made. The Cullinan is Rolls-Royce's SUV, and I already reviewed a regular Cullinan when it came out about a year and a half ago. The Black Badge takes things even further. And today, I'm going to review this car and show you what I mean. I've borrowed this Cullinan black badge from O'Gara San Diego, which is also Rolls-Royce San Diego, of course the Rolls-Royce dealership here in the San Diego area. They have all of the latest Rolls-Royce models, including the new Cullinan black badge, which just arrived to go on sale. You can check out O'Gara San Diego by clicking the link in the description below. So let's talk Cullinan black badge. This is essentially a more focused, more luxurious, more refined find more exclusive version of the standard Cullinan. It replaces a lot of the chrome trim with black, which looks more modern. There's also a power boost. The regular Cullinan has 563 horsepower and 627 pound-feet of torque. This has 600 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque. Impressive numbers, although both Cullinan models share the same 6.75 liter V12. And then there's the luxury. The regular Cullinan I reviewed was, well, pretty regular, fairly close to its starting price of around $325,000. The black badge starts at $380,000, and this one has a lot of options and extras and features that drive that figure to a sticker price of $480,000 for this one. That makes this one of the most expensive SUVs ever built. And today, I'm going to show you what makes the Cullinan Black Badge so expensive. First, I'm going to take you on a tour of this Cullinan, and I'm going to show you all of the interesting quirks and features of the world's most expensive SUV. Then, I'm going to get it out on the road and drive it, and then I'm going to give it a Doug score. All right, I'm going to start the quirks and features of this Cullinan with the fact that in the cargo area, there is a no dogs warning label. Seriously, this warning label has an image of a dog and a line through it indicating no dogs. This was not put on by the dealership. This is a Rolls Royce factory warning label. That is the level of insanity we're dealing with with this vehicle. I'm going to explain that no dogs warning label in a few minutes, but first I want to get inside the Cullinan and I want to talk about the back, which was where most of the luxury insanity in this car is. Now to get into the back, you simply open the door, which is rear hinged. The door opens backwards of a regular car door. And inside this rear hinged door, there's an umbrella. You just push this little button and an umbrella pops out. Now that seems like a pretty interesting quirk, but it's even more interesting if you understand why they've done it. It's for a chauffeur. You see the chauffeur comes to the back door, pulls it open, then pushes the button to pop out the umbrella, puts it up, all in one fluid motion so he can let the wealthy person out of the back and they don't have to get rained on. And that's why the door is hinged in the back and it's why the umbrella is stuck right here in the door. But none of that stuff is the craziest thing about the rear door. That honor goes to you're sitting back here, you've just spent a half million dollars for an SUV, you don't want to close your own door. So Rolls-Royce makes it easy. You see this little button next to the rear door near the ceiling? You push that and then the door <laughs> closes automatically. And then you're free from the encumbrances of the outside world. You gotta admit, that's a pretty cool luxury feature. And next we move on to the back seat of the Cullinan Black Badge, where you are met with some truly 
unbelievable luxury features. To start, a moment ago you may have noticed I wasn't wearing any shoes. I have my socks on, and that's because this vehicle has lamb's wool floor mats. Now, some really high-end cars do have lamb's wool, but these are the fluffiest, softest, nicest floor mats I have ever felt in my entire life. I don't have rugs in my home that are as nice as the floor mats in this car. It's like petting the softest, fluffiest, baby animal you'll ever touch. Truly unbelievable. And so I felt like I had to take off my shoes because I don't want to get even a speck of dirt on the lamb's wool. And those floor mats are just the beginning back here. This car has the starry night headliner. If you've watched anything about Rolls-Royce in the last few years, you know about this. It's a headliner that looks like a starry night sky, thanks to fiber optics all throughout the headliner. And it's a very cool touch, and it gives you a very luxurious feel. Now, you can turn on the starry night headliner with this little star button back here. You push that, and that turns it on or off. Also in that vicinity, you'll notice another star button. That is the dimmer. You can brighten or dim the starry night headliner by pressing that button. But by now, the Starry Night headliner is kind of old news for Rolls-Royce, except this Cullinan adds a rather interesting new feature, shooting stars. There are periodic shooting stars throughout the headliner. Now, they don't always happen in the same place, and they're not very frequent, just like actual shooting stars. You have to kind of be looking for them, but eventually you will see them shoot across your headliner, adding even more ridiculousness to the starry night headliner in these Rolls Royces. I love this little touch. And it gets so much better. The Cullinan has rear seat picnic table. So you're sitting back here and you want to have a little meal or open up your laptop on the go, you have a little table to do it. Not all that unusual. A lot of high-end luxury cars have that. But in this car, they're power operated. Push this little button and the picnic table automatically extends for you to use it. You want the picnic table to go away? No problem. Push the button again and the picnic table automatically folds into place. How hard was it in old Rolls-Royce models to just manually fold down your picnic table? Not hard, but now it's even easier. And things get even better from there. Press the little button to drop the picnic table, and you'll notice behind the picnic table is a screen. So how do you access that? Well, there's a button on the other side of the seat. You push that, and the screen automatically extends until it is facing you. And then you have this Rolls-Royce screen back here you can use to control various different things. Now, a couple of highlights from the screen situation back here. You have heated seats in the back. That's pretty standard. But you can also use the screen to turn on your heated armrest. <laughs> Just in case you weren't quite getting enough heat from your heated seats, that's pretty impressive. You also have an onboard computer back here, and the screen displays various vehicle information. You can see fuel economy, average speed, and you can even see your range until you run out of fuel. So you can sit back here and monitor your driver while he's chauffeuring you around. Of course, you also have other options with this screen, your typical stuff. You can use it to set a navigation destination, which will then go to the front screen. The driver can follow it. Or you can change the radio station back here, the media, whatever you're listening to. Or you can hook up a telephone via Bluetooth, and that will, of course, go through the speakers so you can make phone calls while you're being chauffeured around in your Cullinan. But the unbelievable luxury of this rear seat goes well beyond any of that stuff. I want to move on to the center console. There are only two rear seats back here, individual seats. There's no third middle seat. Instead, you have this ultra ridiculous center console. I'm going to start at the very front. If you open up this little panel, you will see controls for the rear screens. Now, I showed you those rear screens are touch screens, but you can also control them with this little wheel and buttons if that's what you choose to do. So you have multiple options for controlling the rear screens. Most cars don't even give you multiple options for controlling the front screen, but that's just how crazy the Cullinan is. Now, one of the things you'll notice as you're controlling the screens with these controls is that when you move the little wheel control in the middle, the wheel moves, but the Spirit of Ecstasy Rolls-Royce logo stays put. That is a nice piece of attention to detail. If the Spirit of Ecstasy never turns upside down, that simply wouldn't be proper. 
And next up, another notable item in this center console. Along the side, you have seat controls. This is not really all that interesting. You can move the seats backward, forward, up, down, whatever. That's pretty standard for luxury cars at this price point. But here are a few things that aren't so standard. The next item in the center console is this little storage area. You open it up and it reveals drink glasses and like a carafe that you can fill and pour from, all of which have the Rolls-Royce logo emblazoned on them, and all of which have a perfect place to fit in within this storage area. But that's not enough. In between the seats, in the backrest area, you have another panel that can open. Now, one aside here, you can see that you have the logo of Infinity on this. Apparently, Rolls-Royce uses this for their black badge models because the Infinity logo logo was also used on some Rolls-Royce powered boat in the 1930s that set the world water speed record. <laughs> So that's why the Infinity logo is here. A little mysterious, but that's the explanation. But anyway, you open up this panel and you discover there is another panel you must open. You open up that panel and then you get to the refrigerator where you have another carafe and some more drink glasses. Again, all with the Rolls Royce logo printed on them. This way you can keep your drinks cool. So you have two different options for drink storage temperature in the back of the calling it just ridiculous. And by the way, if you close the refrigerator, you can see there's a little button at the bottom. That button actually turns on the refrigerator and you have the ability to choose how cold you want it to be using that button. And the luxury doesn't stop there. In your car, you have headrests. In this car, you have pillows mounted on the headrest. The regular headrests aren't enough, so you have these plush Rolls-Royce pillows that make your seating experience that much more comfortable. Back here, you also have cooled seats. Press this little button and then the cooled seats turn on. That's pretty rare. But rarer still is the fact that back here you have massaging seats. Press this little button on the door, it turns on the massage. And if you have the screen open, it will bring up your different massage settings and you can configure how you want to be massaged as you sit on your luxury seat with your head on your Rolls Royce pillow. It's just crazy. And if all of those seat controls weren't enough to make you comfortable, the rear passengers have their own climate zones back here. I say zones because it's plural. Each seat has their own temperature control. The controls are on the back of the front center console in the middle back here. Even more amazing is the climate vents. Right above the climate controls, you have the climate vents, which is pretty standard for the rear of ultra luxury vehicles but it doesn't even come close to stopping there. On the pillar next to the front seat on the driver's side, two more climate vents. And in that exact same position over on the passenger side, two more climate vents. And you also have climate vents on the floor. On the driver's side, you have vents. And on the passenger's side, you have vents. There are a total of eight different climate control vents just for the rear seats in the Cullinan, which is more than you get up front. So there's a higher priority on rear climate control than front climate control. Amazing. And if all of that luxury isn't enough, the black badge goes even further. Behind the rear seats, you will see that there is a partition, a glass piece placed between the seats and the cargo area. Now, it's a little known fact, but a lot of the noise you hear in an SUV or hatchback or station wagon comes from the cargo area. So by putting that partition in place, it can cancel out a lot of that noise and make your rear seat experience even more luxurious and comfortable. But anyway, next it's time to get out of the Cullinan. And when you get out, you have two options for closing the door. You can either have your chauffeur do it or you can close it yourself. And by close it yourself, of course, I mean tap the door handle and the door will automatically close for you so you don't have to do anything difficult like push it. <laughs> And next up, we move on to the front seats in the Cullinan. Now, like I mentioned, I've already reviewed a regular Cullinan, which was very different in back from this one, but it had a lot of the same stuff up here. I'm gonna link that review in the description below for a more thorough tour. In this video, I'm just gonna hit some of the highlights in front. Like for example, the fact that this Cullinan has the greatest backup camera of all time. It's not even a backup camera. It's an entire 360 degree outside the car camera. As you can see, 
it's showing everything around the car, including the car in the image. It's like a little drone is hovering around the car, getting this image for you. Apparently they do this by stitching various camera angles together, but to me, it seems like wizardry, and it is unbelievable to see this in Rolls-Royce and some high-end new BMW models. And next up, since I'm in that screen, another excellent feature in there is the control for the spirit of ecstasy. Like I mentioned, that is the Rolls-Royce hood ornament, and you can raise or lower it. Inside the infotainment system, you have the choice to do that, and whichever you choose, the hood ornament responds immediately. I guess the theory here is if you're driving through a rough area and you're afraid someone is going to steal it, you can put it down to prevent that theft from happening, and then once you get back to your luxury gated community, you just raise it right back up to remind everyone of what you're driving. Now, one item worth noting, there is a video on YouTube where someone is demonstrating a feature that if you try to steal the hood ornament, it will sense that and automatically retract into the car to prevent theft. People keep asking me about this. I have never actually seen this work, and I've tried. I've pulled on these hood ornaments, and nothing happens. I don't know if that feature is only on European models, if the car has to be in a certain setting or mode, but either way, I've never actually seen it work except in that video, and that's why I don't demonstrate it in my videos. Next up, one thing you notice when you climb into a Cullinan is not just just how comfortable and luxurious and quiet and refined it is, but also the quality. Everything in here is so unbelievably nice, no detail was too small. I'll give you some examples. The climate control dials. You can see there's this aluminum dial you turn, pretty standard, very nice looking, but the best part is they're wrapped in leather. On the side of this dial is leather, so your hands never have to feel or touch plastic or some substandard surface. And next up, another amazing piece of attention to detail is the mirror controls. In your car, it is plastic. It is always plastic. In this car, you have this aluminum joystick that you use that allows you to perfectly position the mirrors where you want. So even the three times a year when you adjust your mirrors, you have a luxurious experience doing so. And the amazing quality continues. On the ceiling of most modern cars, you have a microphone for the Bluetooth system. So when you talk, it picks up your voice so you can talk on the phone. On the ceiling of the Cullinan, that microphone is aluminum. It's not plastic like every other car, but even that little piece has to be high quality aluminum. Amazing attention to detail. And next up, another great piece of luxury in here. Even the front seats have power doors. The little switch is mounted under the dashboard on the driver's side, it says door, you push it and the door automatically closes, again, so you don't have to involve yourself in the difficult, highly exerting activity of closing a door. And of course, the front passenger has that same control, also mounted sort of under the lip at the top of the dashboard. You press that button and the door automatically closes. So the Cullinan has four automatically closing doors, so you don't have to close them yourselves. That's what you get for $500,000. And of course, there are more interesting quirks and features in here than just that. One is the climate controls themselves, which are rather odd. Instead of a dial that shows you what temperature you're setting, you have these little dials that have blue and red colors on them, and you just sort of move them. When you see all blue, it's cold air coming out of the vents, and when you see all red, it's warm air. This is an old school way to do it. Rolls has been doing it this way for years, and they just keep going. And next up, the Cullinan is a vehicle intended to waft around in ultra luxury, so there's no sport button, but you do have a button marked low on the gear selector, and you press that, and it kind of acts like a sport button. It holds the gears a little bit longer, and it gives you a little bit better acceleration. But Rolls-Royce doesn't put a sport button in here, because that just wouldn't be proper with the character of the vehicle. And next up, the other notable item we have in front here is the window sticker. And if you examine the window sticker, you can check out the price of some of these crazy features I've been showing you. For example, the shooting star headliner, that's $7,500. I hope you really enjoy those shooting stars. Next up, how about that rear center console with all those luxurious features in the drink glasses? That is eight. 
$15,000. Again, I hope you really plan on using your drink glasses and your refrigerator. Now, amazingly on this window sticker, it shows you that the Lamb's Wool floor mats are only $1,550. To me, that seems like a bargain compared to the price of this vehicle and the price of some of the other stuff on this window sticker. Only $1,500 to bathe your feet in this level of fluff? It's a deal. Anyway, if you add up all of the crazy luxury items on this window sticker, you can see it takes the starting price of a Conan black badge from $382,000 all the way up to $479,575, almost a half a million dollars for an SUV. We've certainly come a long way from the Chevy K5 Blazer and the original Jeep Cherokee and Wagoneer, some of the first SUVs from the 1970s and 80s. And next we move on to the cargo area in the Cullinan, and I hope you haven't forgotten that no dogs warning label. But anyway, the cargo area, first off, getting back here, the tailgate is full power, but interestingly, it's split in two. So the top part goes up automatically, and then you press a button and the bottom part goes down automatically. This allows you to sort of have a picnic off the back of your Cullinan. You can just sit back here and enjoy your $500,000 tailgating experience. Now, one thing I really like about the power tailgate situation in the Cullinan is the buttons. You can see on the button to close the tailgate, you have an image of the Cullinan, not just some generic SUV. Same deal on the button to open the lower tailgate, you have a Cullinan there again, because when you pay this much money for an SUV, nothing is generic. But anyway, next I want to take you back to the no dogs warning. If you've been paying attention, you can probably figure out why that warning label is in here, and that's because of the partition into the rear seats. When you put that partition in, it keeps all the sound of the cargo area out, but it also means the cargo area is fully and completely enclosed. And since there are no climate vents back here or windows that open, it means that no airflow comes into the cargo area, so you don't don't want to put dogs back here because they'll be tremendously uncomfortable to the point of being dangerous. Now, if you're used to putting dogs in your cargo area, you might forget about this and stick your pet back here. And so that little warning label is intended to remind you not to do that. Needless to say, that is not a warning label you will find in any normal car because it only goes along with having a glass partition that separates the passenger compartment from the cargo area which is uncommon. Now, once you get back into the cargo area, it's worth noting that you do have a rather large space back here that isn't for dogs. The Cullinan is a really big vehicle, and that means you have a lot of space in the passenger area and also a lot of cargo space. You can stick a lot of stuff back here. One other interesting cargo area related item, even though these two tailgates are separate, they close automatically together. You press the little power tailgate closer button and they unite automatically, making sure that your tailgate is closed without you having to do anything at all. And next up, moving on to some other exterior items with the Cullinan, I want to start with its styling. Rolls-Royce really tried to bring the Rolls-Royce sedan look to an SUV, and it's been met with mixed reviews, mostly positive though. But regardless of your take on its styling, the Cullinan certainly has presence. It is absolutely massive. The grille is huge, the front is huge, the whole vehicle is very long. It looks a lot more stately, larger, more massive than every other SUV which is kind of the point. Next up, another exterior item I love with modern Rolls-Royce models is the RR badge on the wheels. I've mentioned this in other reviews, but it is always worth repeating. The RR on the wheels is weighted to make sure it always remains upright even when you're driving, so the wheel center cap isn't flipped over and turned upside down. You can see it always stays straight so everyone knows what you have. And next up, another item worth noting on the outside of this Cullinan are the black badges themselves. Like I mentioned, this one is called the Cullinan Black Badge, and it actually has black badges. The Spirit of Ecstasy logo is black, as you can see. Same deal with the grill. A lot of the chrome you typically see on Cullinans is removed, and the black badges are supposed to give it more of a modern look to kind of appeal to younger people. I do think it generally looks kind of more modern and cooler than your typical old-school luxury car chrome. And 
And finally, we move under the hood of the Cullinan, and you can see its massive engine, this 6.75-liter V12. Like I mentioned in the Black Badge model, there's a little power boost over the regular Cullinan. This one has about 600 horsepower and about 660 pound-feet of torque. Of course, those are healthy figures, and it's about 30 horsepower and 30 pound-feet more than the regular model. Big power and torque for a big vehicle. And so, those are the quirks and features of the 2020 Rolls-Royce Cullinan Black Badge. Now it's time to get it out on the road and see how it drives. All right, driving the Cullinan Black Badge. Now, I already drove the regular Cullinan, and I don't really expect this to be that much different. 40 horsepower, whatever extra it is, is a lot. But ultimately, this vehicle is massive, and you're going from like 565 to 595, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference, I suspect. Of course, the biggest thing you notice the moment you get inside and start driving this car, comfortable, luxury, unbelievably quiet. This is certainly the quietest car I've ever been in, with the exception of maybe the Rolls-Royce Phantom. That vehicle, of course, is sort of like the sedan version of the Cullinan, uh, and both of these cars are just pillow soft ride, unbelievable luxury. But the thing that really impresses me is just, you don't hear a thing. I don't hear a thing that is happening around me. Not one sound, not an iota of sound, not even a little potential possibility of sound. Cars go by, wind passes by, I don't hear any of it, not even a little, and I'm not exaggerating. There's no greater way to be just coddled as you drive along than in a Cullinan. It's just the most comfortable, just sit and mm, relax. I don't even really want to test the acceleration in this vehicle. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. I'm gonna do it in the interest of science. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Okay, that I was not expecting. <laughs> It's actually a lot quicker than I thought. It feels maybe sportier than the other one, and it feels a little bit quicker, which I wasn't thinking it would given the slight power bump. But even then, it's a fairly quiet experience. Uh, you do hear the motor. It does kind of squat back and start pushing forward, but it's not uncomfortable or disappointing, or it doesn't really break your, your cocoon, if you will. It really is amazing to me how luxurious this vehicle is. And you know, every time I review one of these, people say, well, do you really need to spend, you know, a Range Rover is 140,000 for a really nice one. Do you need to spend $300,000 more? And the answer is the people who own these have had Range Rovers for years, decades maybe. They've had S classes, they've had all that stuff, but they just sold their business or whatever. And now they want the next level. And this is that. And so that's the 2020 Rolls-Royce Cullinan Black Badge. This is an ultra luxury SUV, the world's most luxurious SUV, frankly, with a price tag to match. And it's great to be able to drive this car and check out this car and spend the day with this car. It's ridiculously expensive, but it's also ridiculously luxurious. And the black badge is the best version yet. And now it's time to give this Cullinan a Doug score. Starting with the weekend categories and styling, the Cullinan is nice, but not perfect by any stretch. It's been a bit controversial and it gets a six out of 10. Acceleration zero to 60 is 4.9 seconds and it gets a six out of 10. Handling is about what you'd expect for a giant luxury SUV like this and it gets a four out of 10. Fun factor is okay. The fun really comes from knowing you're basically the king of the road and not from the Cullinan driving experience itself and it gets a five out of 10. Cool factor is high, especially right now as this is new and it gets a 7 out of 10 for a total weekend score of 28 out of 50. Next up are the daily categories and features. This is amazingly loaded and I can't realistically imagine having more and it gets a 10 out of 10. Comfort is also incredible, probably the best of any new car on sale and it gets a 10 out of 10. Quality is also fantastic with the best materials in existence. The only demerit is long-term reliability and it gets a 9 out of 10. Practicality is good, although the glass partition and back hampers cargo volume because you can't just drop the seats, 
meaning you essentially have a really big trunk and it gets a 6 out of 10. Finally, value, and it's fine. These are incredibly expensive and they'll depreciate fast and it gets a 5 out of 10 for a total daily score of 40 out of 50. Add it up and the Doug score is 68 out of 100, which places it here against other Ultimate SUVs. The black badge ties the normal Cullinan, adding a point on features as it has more stuff, but losing a point for practicality due to the enclosed cargo area. Not that it matters. Pretty much any way you equip a Cullinan, it's the Ultimate SUV on sale. Hey!